the intenseness of the tropical storms, the hurricanes, the devastations that we've seen here in South Florida and on the West Coast. So this is a product that will help us to help others. A Florida company is hoping it can change the building industry in the face of climate change. This week, leaders cut the ribbon on a new apartment complex in Palm Springs, Florida, built with Lego-like blocks that the manufacturer says are rated to withstand winds from a Category 5 hurricane. Yeah, they're also built faster and with less manpower. Joining us to discuss how this alternative building system works is Patrick Murphy, government relations leader for the manufacturer, Renco USA. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Yeah. So these blocks, these blocks are also made from recycled materials. So what exactly are these blocks? Um, what are they made of and why are they a better option than cinder blocks? Yeah, great question. There's actually two things that make Renco so unique. Number one is, is the materials themselves. As you mentioned, it's recycled glass recycled plastic, calcite, which is like a limestone dust, and then a resin that holds it all together. And that unique mesh makes our material extremely strong. Additionally, it's a building system, right? It's not just the walls, it's not just these blocks. See, we have a joist system, a truss system, a decking and roofing system that is uh, adhered with glue, right? There's a, a, a special glue that we have that when combined makes our material monolithic. So it's almost as if you have a poured concrete building when this is done. So it's extremely strong, but it's extremely easy to put together. So I'm assuming you've done a lot of testing on this in terms of their resiliency to weather. So what can they withstand? How strong were the winds before these things would fail? Great question. We've had to do over 440 certified tests in the United States to get this approved. So let me just rewind real quick. In the developed world, there's basically three ways to build a structure of a building, right? You have wood, you have concrete, and you have metal. So this is the fourth building system ever approved. So there's a ton of testing we had to do, but specifically with wind, to answer your question, we passed uh, Hurricane 5 testing. And in order to do that, we had to pass uh, tests that were upwards of 157 miles per hour wind gusts. We didn't fail until upwards of 250 miles per hour, however, so much you know, uh, past the hurricane uh, category five. So of course, hurricanes are a big focus in Florida as far as building resistant to those, but are there any types of weather that this is resistant to? Well, uh, resistant, you know, beyond hurricanes where we're at in South Florida, where we're accustomed to, uh, flooding is a big deal, not just in South Florida, but, but across the country. And our product is completely resistant to water. You could put it in salt water for years, pull it out, and there'd be no degradation of the material. Wow. Uh, the material also is non-combustible. Uh, termites do not eat it. We got the strongest possible rating for termites. So you put all that together, and the insurance companies have given us a 250-year lifespan for this product. You compare that to wood, 25 years, concrete, 40 years. It's 10 times you know, X uh, more durable than a lot of those materials. So what that means is we have lower insurance costs, not only for the construction material, but the operating cost of it. So, Patrick, as you're talking, we're actually watching the houses being erect. And like you said, they look just like Legos. But how are they actually able to interlock like Legos? Yeah, so that was, you know, part of the um, sort of genius behind this is the simplicity of this. Uh, we have a skilled, you know, worker uh, shortage in our country. And uh, costs continue to go up and up. So one of the real attributes of this product is the ease that it can be put together. So whatever you want to design, whether it's your home, a hotel, a condo, a barn, you know, you name it, you send us those plans and we run it through our software. We come up with the perfect block configuration that, as you said, looks like Legos. There's a male and a female in that fit together perfectly. And we send you those blocks and we send you a color coded plan set. There's a red one, a blue one, a green one, et cetera. So when you're looking at the plans, you see exactly which color to put where. So it's very simple. People you know, can, are up and running within hours when they get their, their blocks and their building system. They put the glue joint down within an hour or two it's completely uh you know welded together the the glue joint is the strongest piece of the block it's like a weld with uh, with steel actually like ikea for for buildings but, <laughs> yeah, they don't hurt it's your cool. feet when you step on them but more importantly <laughs> how much is the cost compared to traditional building materials 
So because of the simplicity of the construction, it's about 20% less expensive than traditional construction. So uh, it's uh, the time savings and, and the folks building it, uh, being unskilled labor, ends up saving us about 20%. So uh, the speed is a big deal, especially in today's high interest rates. When you're building a building, say, out of concrete that might take 10 or 12 weeks, with our product, you can do it in three, four weeks. So that's saving a lot of time to get that structure up and, and ready to, you know, finish it with whatever finishes you want. It can look, you know, like any building. It could be a workforce housing. It could be a, a five-star hotel. You can finish it any way you like. Patrick Murphy, government relations leader for RINCO. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm excited to see where else this goes outside of the state of yeah. Florida as a Lego lover. Exactly. <laughs> I, I don't know if I trust myself to put it together, but it's fascinating. It is fascinating. Can you build like the Death Star out of those things? That's what I want. Yeah, there you go. <laughs>